the menstrual cycle, this is super key. This is super important. Can't emphasize how important this is. Um, there's two phases. There's the follicular phase and there's the luteal phase. In the follicular phase, estrogen runs the show. I'm going to abbreviate that with an E. And in the luteal phase, progesterone runs the show. I'm going to abbreviate that with a P. So we'll start with the follicular phase, which is F. So I'm going to start with FSH which is follicle-stimulating hormone, so obviously it's going to stimulate the follicles. It's going to cause them to, to nicely mature, so they're going to go from primary follicles to secondary follicles to tertiary follicles. And as they mature, they're going to make estrogen. If you remember, it's actually the granulosa cells of the follicle that are going to make estrogen. And what estrogen is going to do First of all, let's go to this graph. Estrogen is now going to increase because it is, um, follicles are making more and more. And estrogen is going to act on the endometrium. It's going to cause the endometrium to grow because that's what estrogen does. The other thing it's going to do is estrogen is going to block FSH and LH production. But FSH and LH are also stimulated by GnRH, so there's a nice little balancing act. So these two levels remain fairly stable. And then your estrogen is going to go up and up and up until it reaches, reaches a certain threshold where for some reason, which we don't know why, it's going to cause a sudden LH surge. And this is a key moment in our story. So L the estrogen gets high enough that it's going to induce LH to surge up. And this LH surge is what causes um, basically this, we have this nicely matured follicle that's been nicely maturing thanks to our FSH. It's going to cause ovulation and cause rupture of that follicle. And then our ruptured follicle will now become the corpus luteum. This is the corpus luteum and thus ends the follicular phase. Now we're going to talk about the luteal phase now. Our corpus luteum is going to secrete progesterone. I'm going to call it P. Remember, this is the star of the show now. So progesterone is going to go up now because we're in the luteal phase. And what it's going to do is it's going to act on the endometrium, and it's going to cause the endometrium to mature. So you're going to get more blood vessels. You're going to get a bunch of other stuff. That um, and so endometrial maturation. So again, blood vessels, and it's going to make other stuff that's going to make the endometrium a really nice place for your blastocyst to, to implant and to grow. But if no blastocyst implants or grows, your corpus luteum dies in 14 days. And so what happens to progesterone? So progesterone, the corpus luteum dies, and then progesterone goes down. P goes down. So what happens if progesterone goes down? It was previously nourishing our nice endometrium, but once it goes down, your endometrium dies and it sloughs off. So you get endometrial sloughing. And that's basically menses. Um, you're going to get some hormones that's going to cause your uterus to contract, so that's why you get cramps. Um, and it's also going to basically push out that endometrial lining, and so that's why you get the blood coming out. And you, you pushed out the endometrial lining so you can start anew now. You have a nice little endometrial lining for which to grow in the neomenstrual cycle. So that's it for the menstrual cycle.